tutorial on how to play Wonder by Eden or in standard tuning. There's no capo. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the chords and then we're going to look at the main progression that's played throughout the entire song. So it's a bunch of bar chords, so if you're a beginner, beware of that. We have a C major, a B minor, a D major, a G major, and we also have an E minor chord. So if you know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead. I'm going to talk about them for a brief minute here. So we have a B minor chord. For that chord, you're going to bar the second fret with your index finger from your A string down here. Middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the B. Ring finger is on the fourth fret of the D. Pinky is on the fourth fret of the G. You play those five strings. That same chord can be shifted all the way up here to the seventh fret for your E minor. For our other chords that are major, we're going to have this shape. So this is your C major chord. You can get that by barring the 3rd fret from the 5th string down. Here you can have your ring finger on the 5th fret from the D, G, and the B. And you're trying to mute that high E. That's your C major. If you slide that shape up to the 5th fret, it's your D major. And then finally, all the way up here, you have your G chord, which is the 10th fret and the 12th fret. Okay, so this isn't really geared towards beginners, that's why I went over those chords so quickly, but now we're going to talk about the progression. So we're going to start out on our D chord, and what I'm doing is I'm picking the A and the B strings, and the G string as well. Go from that D chord up to your G chord. Back to your D chord. And I'm just alternating picking between the B and the G strings. Then we go down to our C chord. All the way down to our B minor chord. Play it twice on each of these. Back up to your C chord. All the way up to your D. to G chord. Back to D. Back to our C chord. All the way down to the B minor. Back to your C. And you can throw this E minor in there. all the way up to your G chord, and then back to the D, and it kind of repeats along in that pattern. So there are other chords kind of um, spurred around there, um, I wouldn't worry about those chords, if you just play that pattern throughout most of the song you should be able to play along. That's going to be it for this tutorial, if you have questions go ahead and comment below, if you'd like to see more tutorials please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.